Hi guys, so this is going to be a pack with me face and eye palettes. Once again, I am moving and these are all the face and eye palettes that I am keeping and I'm going to put them in this box. Hopefully they all fit. I have this cute little note. Um, please be gentle with my babies. Um, hopefully this all fits in this box. I'm not really sure. It probably won't. And I'm just going to go through everything I'm keeping, obviously. So this is like a collection slash... Um, pack with me video and I'm just going to jump right in to the palettes I am keeping and this is going to be in no particular order. I do have an eyeshadow palette declutter that I will link right over here so that you guys can check that out. Um, I also have a declutter series I'm doing right now so I will link that over here for you guys. Uh, if you love declutters like I do, then you'll love this channel because I do a lot of them, especially right now in this moving phase in my life. And so I'm going to jump right in. I'm going to I'm just I'm just mixing in face and eye palettes because there's like so many face palettes that are seriously just as big as eyeshadow palettes. Like this is a face palette, but it's huge. Um, so I'm going in no particular order. So I'm hoping to put more big things on the bottom um, and I'm hoping that the movers, we are hiring movers to move and they hopefully will not break anything. Uh, these are obviously very like breakable items. So that's why I put this, please be gentle <laughs> sign. So I'm going to jump right in and I'm going to be putting in the Scott Barnes face palette. Um, this is one of my favorite face palettes of all time. Love it so, so much. So I think this should go near the bottom. It is pretty big. Um, next, I have this Mercury Retrograde Palette from Huda Beauty. I just purchased this, and I have been waiting for this to go on sale forever because I did not want to pay the $65 price tag on it. It's new. It's so, so pretty. What a beautiful girl. It is beautiful. I love it. Um, definitely glad I got it on sale. So that is going in the box. The box. Oh, Okay. Next is this new Melt Blush Palette. So this is a beautiful palette. This is my first product from Melt besides the eyeshadow palette. Um, I have, This is my first time trying Melt, and I am loving this blush palette. It is very, very pigmented, very beautiful, and I will be keeping this, obviously. This is not a declutter. This is like a pack with me. These are all products I'm keeping. This is so stunning. Next is the Patrick Ta blush palette. I, hello, that's me. I love this. So I learned a trick, guys. So apparently the best way to use this is to put the powders on first and then put the creams on top, guys. That is a life-changing tip. Um, it's just so beautiful. I love his blush formula. I had um, individuals... Uh, they went bad, unfortunately, but I use them a ton. And this has a bright pink, a bright red, and this beautiful bronzy color. I love this palette. This kind of has, I want more of these, obviously, but I um, have plenty of blush. You will see. Next is my beloved Juvia's Place Saharan Blush Volume 2. I talk about this a latte and um, this one is one of my favorites i love the pigmentation on juvia's place obviously they are killing it and the affordability is chef's kiss so the next palettes are small so i'm gonna have to put them on the side this is the confident energy rare beauty palette this is a beautiful palette i love it so so much i've been loving rare beauty i love selena gomez and yes, I'm going to talk in this voice the whole time. Just kidding. Oh, my phone's going to be. Um, but yeah, I have been loving Rare Beauty products. I might even try a liquid blush. And uh, yeah, look at this. I just want to like look at it all day, all night. I feel like it's really protected too. Like it is really protected in this. I wish you guys could all feel and touch it because it's just uh, luxe. This is luxe, guys. This is and the confident energy. Mm, rare beauty guys rare beauty i am loving it never in a million years at first i was i was majorly turned off i don't know why i think it was just like the packaging i don't know i think maybe i just fall in love with selena gomez i don't i don't know but this is 10 out of 10 guys 10 out of 10 so hopefully that will not break 
Um, this is already broken. So, you know, whatever happens, happens. Viseart is, uh, they're very sensitive, very sensitive. Um, one of the most sensitive eyeshadow formulas in all the land. Uh, pretty much every single time I've ordered a Viseart palette, it has come broken. Um, this one came completely shattered, but I am keeping this and this is absolutely beautiful. These browns are st 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 stunning. And, uh, this green, this purple, I haven't even had a chance to play with it and, um, has that cute, portfolio packaging which i majorly prefer over a cheap plastic that viseart tends to use to charge 80 dollars for the audacity that they have and the audacity of myself to continue purchasing but they the formula is dare i say it chef's kiss so is going in the box will it probably break yeah yeah guys if you've been following me for a while you know how i feel about this palette um it's personally, it's, it's a, it's a fan favorite. Um, I don't know if it's a fan favorite. It's my favorite. This palette blew my socks off. And if you can get your hands on it, run, just grab it and run. Just kidding. I mean, I'm just saying like this palette is so nice. So nice. Um, I can't believe it's produced by pure pure. Can you do this with other items too? This is a solid shout out because this is the best. I can't say it's best. It's one of the best blush palettes and I will forever cherish it in my heart. So if it breaks, I will move on, but I will probably grieve. I will grieve over this palette because it's, it's not something I can repurchase. I'm pretty sure it is discontinued. So carefully putting it in this box. Oh is that satisfying? Hello. Next is my Italian Summer Trio by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, this, I feel like it won't break cause it's like pretty hard press in there. Obviously keeping this, this is like not exciting to talk about, but like it's exciting to use. Um, I definitely recommend using it. Unfortunately, it only comes in two shades, which is like totally uncool. This is the light. Then there's like a darker version. Um, so I don't want to like talk about this too much cause I feel like they really miss the mark when it comes to like actually addressing every single shade of skin which was like totally like that's really un unnecessary but i do love it personally so i'm gonna move on from this now um feel a little bit guilty loving this and i really hope that it works for you if it doesn't there's so many other products out there but boo boo on you good job but bad job very conflicted cognitive dissonance to the max with this product like I don't know why I think that all of this is going to fit in this box, but maybe it will. All right. We're going to, we're going to give it a shot. Here's another mic. This one, one of my lapel mics. Also, I get like super annoyed when YouTubers hold their lapel mic, like in their hands, like an interviewer, because it's literally in the name that it's a lapel mic. It goes on your lapel so i have two of these as you can see this one is in the best condition <laughs> that it can be all right i am in a mood today guys i am in a really good mood so we're gonna keep it going um this is the hello this is not hello halo halo berlin um yeah so this is from essence i've talked about it really good quality um what if it breaks of course i'm gonna talk about if it breaks <laughs> would i be that sad no because it's like not that expensive but i do love it maybe i should put the ones that like i'm not afraid will break on the bottom like the cheaper ones that i can repurchase easier versus like putting mm, well i don't know well i'll organize that later so next are the pat mcgrath palettes yeah so i really don't want these to break but the packaging is so like almost like a vault that I feel like they won't break. This is the uh, mothership. Focus on focus on me. Okay, this is the mothership V one. I'm literally sounding like a fourth grader. I think that is six mothership six. Please, I don't know. It's V one. I need to learn Greek numerals. Okay, so moving on. So this is super nice, obviously really expensive. So I might put this near the top, but the packaging is so like, it's literally so heavy. I feel like it won't break. Let me know if you guys have traveled with this and it is actually like 
durable because I feel like this is like seriously like a brick. So I'll put this near the bottom. Unlike this palette, which I feel like I definitely need to have towards the top because it literally breaks just by me touching it and it is really expensive and one of my favorites. This is Natasha Denona Blue Green Palette. Um, this one needs to go near the top. I, I feel like I need to bubble wrap this to be honest because this is like crushing. It's already crushed and I haven't even done anything to like look, look at this. Like that's just bound to happen. Mm. I might need to bubble wrap this and put this in a separate situation or in my purse. We, I'll think about that later because this will definitely break. I mean, it breaks on the way to my house from UPS. So um, I'm going to put that aside for right now. Natasha Denona, you are high maintenance girl. I love you, but you are high maintenance. Next is this new palette I haven't played with much. This is like a, what's it called? No, this is the Holy Grail Violet Voss palette. I feel like these are not going to break. I really like the names. Thanks a latte. Cause I say, I like you a latte. And what's funny is my boyfriend says, how you doing a lot. And, um, like all these things are th like cool beans. I say a lot. So we were just like laughing. So we're like, that's kind of like the synchronicity. If you ever heard that synchronicity, um, it's invented by Jan. It basically, it's like a coincidence, but I'm really bad at describing this. It's like a coincidence, but like spiritual coincidence. I don't know. But yeah, I'm going to put this in here. I've been loving that so far, but it is new to my life. Whoa. Okay. Next is the Scott Barnes contour palette. Love this palette so, so much. This is really fun to play with. And I actually used this shade sculpt in my eyebrows, like an eyebrow um, powder. And it is so nice. And these are so nice, especially if you are a working makeup artist. You definitely need this in your life. I love Scott Barnes. He has a great quality palettes. Next is my Park Avenue Princess palette. This is extremely durable. I don't think anything's going to happen with this face palette. Oh my gosh, why aren't you opening? Why are you doing this to me? This, did I use, yeah, so this is definitely, I don't think it's going to break. These are super hard press in here, and this is a monster. So this is going in here. I did put my Natasha Denona in here. <sighs> I don't know, guys. I'm going to set it to the side. I'm really nervous. I mean, she she is a very delicate soul. Very delicate. All right, next we have the Hocus Pocus palette from ColourPop. Yeah, not going to worry too much about these because they are on the cheaper side and I don't they're hard pressed AF so this is going in here also I found a bunch of other makeup what's up <laughs> like it's always hiding um Morphe Jaclyn Hill dirty girl this is hard pressed it's not gonna break probably if it does it's not the end of the world I will just cry a little bit moving on um Dominique Cosmetics uh yeah I've I just feel like these and these cardboard packaging are not too concerning. So I'm going to throw that in there. Um, Dominique Cosmetics Transition Palette. This one probably won't break either. I uh, might have to keep an eye on this this girly. I love how I like literally talk to them like they're humans. Like, I will keep an eye on you. Especially her. I haven't even packed her yet because I'm like, how do I make sure she doesn't? I may need to like put her in my purse like a dog or something. This is from the BH Cosmetics Iggy Azalea palette. This is, even if this breaks, I'm like, whatever. This is like a backup face palette from BH Cosmetics. It's all right. Not the best thing in the land. Totally plastic. Put it in there. Um, we have the Powerpuff Girls. I'm going to zoom in a little bit for you guys. This is a Powerpuff Girls ColourPop palette. I would be kind of upset if this broke, to be honest. I don't know if it's limited edition or not. Um, the nostalgia factor runs deep with this one, y'all. Um, but yeah, I don't think it's going to break. So I will be throwing that in there. How heavy is this getting? Oh, wow. Okay. It's getting pretty heavy. I can probably fit only a few more palettes in here at this point in time. Powerpuff. Yeah, so this is box one. It's already getting really heavy, so I'm going to get one more box. I think that everything will fit in two boxes. Um, 
that is the extra life that I am currently leading. I just don't want it to be too heavy, and I feel like it's already pretty heavy. This is a medium-sized box. It's 12 by 10 from Walmart. So uh, I'm going to get another box and write the same message on there because the movers need to know the gem that they're carrying. All right, so I will be right back. Guys, I found this adorable box that I'm going to be using to carry the rest of my eyeshadow palettes. It is so cute. I got this from TJ Maxx, I believe. I think it's going to be a really good box. I'm probably not going to mark anything on it due to how cute it is. I love this box. It's so cute. looks like Lily Pulitzer to me. So we're going to move on to the rest of the palettes. Once again, these are face and eye palettes. And I'm just going to tape this up and carry it probably myself. Um, next thing, this had like documents in there. So the next thing is this busy art palette. Um, this is one of my favorites. Of course I have to open it for you guys because who doesn't like visuals? Um, a beaut, you are beautiful, no matter what they say, words can bring you down. Oh no, no. No one even says anything bad about this palette because... They know she is queen. You are going in this beautiful box. I'm going to put the Natasha Denona in there as well. Because I'm probably just going to carry this box like by myself. Next is the Pat McGrath Mothership 5. This is one of my all-time favorite palettes. Um, love warm tones. If you're a warm tone lover, you will love this. Only red that doesn't make me look bloodshot like hello. This is stunning. Um, that's really all there is to say about it. I want to do more looks with this palette. This really got me into Pat McGrath. Um, so going in this box, these are like my favorite palettes almost like, I don't know if I did this on purpose, but they're going in this box. Next is the Kat Von D. This is the For Vida palette. Um, I love this palette actually. So, so beautiful. I use this a latte. So this is going in here. Um, this, oh, it's so pretty. Fan of Kat Von D or not, this is so, so pretty, and I got it on sale, so winning. Look at their, in their little home. Next is, whoa, this is the new Melt palette, guys. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. This is beautiful. Um, Yeah, this is definitely going in this beautiful box. <laughs> now I'm like, what goes in the beautiful box and what goes in the cardboard box but yeah this is so beautiful and uh, I don't think it will break it seems pretty durable so I will be throwing it in here we have the Too Faced Natural Lust palette I've talked about this quite a lot and I love this palette so so much pretty durable I would say I don't have no idea where what I'm basing that off of but it is going in this box it takes up quite a lot of room though not gonna lie Next is my beloved Glam Light palette. I have the Dirty Martini palette on my way to me today, and I will be throwing it in the box. Oh, it's so beautiful. Hello. So these, are, this is like my, probably my favorite palettes, to be honest. Like, that's why they get the special box. Um, and I have a few more things, but let's see how heavy this is. It's pretty heavy already, so we will see if I can fit more things in there. Last two items I'll be throwing in this box are these new blush palettes. These are new, new. Um, thank you, Babs Duty, for your enabling ways. And she told me that these are similar to the MAC Cosmetics formula, and that's what got me to buy not one, but both. Because how can you decide? This is from Jaclyn Cosmetics. Not, like, the biggest supporter of her, but, like, oh, this is so beautiful. Um, unfortunately, they're literally the exact same packaging, so I don't really know, like, which one is which until I open it, but this is like the cool tone one, I believe. Yeah, this is the cool tone one and this is the more warm tone one. But yeah, like just look how beautiful these are. Beautiful. And I have the boxes for them still, so I will be able to put them in these boxes. I just want to show you guys that um, these are beautiful and I will be trying them out in the next get ready with me, but I will make sure that they get home and they need to get home they need to get into their new home safe and sound, first and foremost. Look how pretty they are against this box. I'm all about aesthetic, guys. Hello. 
hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe or leave a comment or whatever. Hope you guys are enjoying these. Um, pack with me. I have a lot more to come. And I love you guys so, so much once again. And uh, putting them back in these boxes now. Hope you guys have a great day or night and you enjoyed this video and the visuals that they hopefully inspired you. I personally love watching Pack With Me's declutters because they are like what I have on in the background when I'm doing work or doing anything. And yeah, bye guys. Hope you enjoy the next videos. What am I, I can like, I need to think of a better closer because I can just go on and on and on and on. Um, but like, let's just look at this visual right now. So we got all these in here and then we have this box and it has my faves and this new blush palettes. And uh, I think that's everything. Bye guys.